Hello, welcome to Be Free, where faith and forgiveness leads to freedom. I'm Ashley Gronholm, and I'm so pleased to have this wonderful guest with me today, Prakash Daniel. He's originally from India, and today we're going to be talking about the prophetic, the prophetic ministry, hearing the voice of God. I know that this show is going to bless you today, and I feel in my spirit that there are even people watching that are just really pressing in for a word of the Lord, that there's something that you specifically need to hear from God. And today is your day. Amen. Amen. Today is the day that you're going to hear from God in a powerful way. In fact, some of you have been crying out at night saying, God, where are you? God, I need to hear from you. God, why aren't you helping me? What do I do about this or that? Listen, today you're going to get your answer because today we're discussing how to hear the voice of God. Amen. 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 And no one hears the voice of God better that I know personally than Prakash Daniel in my personal ministry relationships. He is a true prophet of the Lord. He hears the voice of God and he delivers the, the word, the prophetic word with accuracy and with power through the Holy Spirit. That is prophetic ministry. So maybe some of you out there aren't even familiar with prophetic ministry. I know that I wasn't in uh, years past, but the Lord had opened my eyes through the scripture. He said to me out of Jeremiah 33, verse three, and I'll never forget it when, when, when Holy Spirit said this to me out of God's word, call unto me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. Praise God. Amen. I remember that moment, Prakash, when I mm -hmm. read that verse and I thought, what? <laughs> what? God, are you saying that you are going to talk right to me, that I'm not just studying your word, but that you're actually going to speak to me mm -hmm. and tell me things that yes. I don't even know? Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 That's, that's what God wants to do in our lives. Amen? Yes, absolutely. Like, Jeremiah 33 verse 3 is like when I was in India growing up, you know, my dad used to say that's a, our phone call or a cell phone or, a, <laughs> or you know, in, in, in my childhood, that. we have a landline phone, you know, oh, whenever you get uh, tired, whenever you, you, you have going through a hard time and Jeremiah 33, 3, just call him, you know, it's just like connecting oh. from earth to heaven. Amen. And then. You know, when you have a cell phone, there's always a two ways of connection. When you right. say hello, when, oh, I see my daughter Nicole is calling. I have to pick the call. And all of a sudden, and she said, mom, I've been calling you. Where are you? And this was a two-way conversation. Yes. You know, prophetic is a yes. kind of two-way conversation. Yes. You know, like... Um, uh, that is the thing, you know, we're going to share heart to heart today. Like, uh, okay, it's really, is there, where is God in the middle of trust? How I can hear God? You know, you're calling, but there's a one way channel is happening, but the antenna is not connected with the, the antenna. Antenna yeah, is not, not connected connecting. with the satellite. <laughs> <laughs> Great analogy, Prakash. <laughs> right, the one way connection, but. To have a conversation with God or with anyone is a two-way that, connection. That's Jeremiah chapter 33, 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee. Amen. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're calling Nikki, your daughter, and she's not answering means, oh, what happened? You know, that's, that's, it's, it's all about your personal relationship with God. Amen. When you have a personal relationship with God, your antenna is connected in a two ways. Amen. And God hears and then he sends the answer. It's yes. a lot of dimension in prophetic, you know, through dreams and visions and uh, uh, through word of knowledge, through word of wisdom. And when right. you open the Bible, you're praying and all of a sudden and you open a psalm and all of a sudden you get Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Yes. And you're getting an answer. And all of a sudden. You cry, thank you, Jesus. I'm going out. You already spoke to the word. The Lord is my shepherd. I will not yes. lack. And you heard the word. You answer from God. You're walking out. 
Amen. And you feel that confirmation in your spirit. Yes. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit will confirm the word of God to you in your heart. That's scripture. Mm -hmm. And and that's what happens when we hear the voice of God out of the scripture. When we open the word, like you said, to Psalm 23 and, and the presence of, of the Lord washes over your spirit. Don't ignore that and don't talk yourself out of it. God is talking to you. Amen. He's trying to help you hear his voice. And, you know, it takes faith yes. to receive that. I remember it took faith for me to receive mm -hmm. that God was calling me to be a prophetic voice in the ministry. And the Lord did something very remarkable. He confirmed it yeah. through another minister of God mm -hmm. in a church. I didn't know the minister at all. I walk in, I sit down, and he begins to declare Jeremiah 33, 3, Three. over my life, and that the Lord has called me from my mother's womb Amen. to be a prophet, to be a voice in Jeremiah 1, 4. That verse had also been placed on my heart. And then the tears began to roll down my cheeks because I realized this, this is true. Mm -hmm. This is not something that I'm making up or that I, in my ego or pride, yep. you know, sometimes the enemy will try to say, oh, you're just being proud yeah. or you're just, you think too highly of yourself, but that's not what's happening. The Lord is speaking to us through the Holy Spirit yes. and we need to have faith to receive it. Now, tell me about that for you, Prakash. How did you receive the prophetic ministry into your life? You know, uh, as you're talking about uh, faith, the Bible says faith pleases God. You know, faith pleases God. Um, yes. um, let me tell how I started my prophetic ministry. You know, um, I believe in, in, the, in 1999, um, we have a youth team in our local uh, town. Uh, I'm from Chennai, south of India. And one of my buddy, you know, he loves prophecy, he read books, and I don't know anything about prophecy. So one time he took me to a house where like, you know, when you go to a doctor's office, people sit in the chair and then one after another you go and then the doctor mm -hmm. check in a same kind of atmosphere. And then there's a, a lady inside, she lay the hand and then she's praying and she's prophesying that time, right. I don't know what's prophecy. <laughs> and then I came out of the building I looked at my friend, hey, never ever bring me back into this place, okay? <laughs> this place for you, not for me. I don't believe all this stuff, okay? Oh, you know, whenever goodness. I read, God can speak through me. In the Bible, I can, you know, I, I love God, I pray. I didn't understand the deep of two ways of how God speaks. And, but I was yes. more stick with some of the stuff. You know, I studied in a Methodist school. <laughs> I gave my life when I was nine years old in the Methodist school, uh, watching a movie called Pilgrim Progress. And at the end, you know, uh, it's all about heaven and hell. And I said, I'm not going to uh, 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 yes. uh, hell. I, I'm going, going to, to heaven. heaven. So I gave my life by fear, Amen. by fear, by faith. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And I gave my life, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. That's faith. Yes. And I was, I, was, I was born and brought up with a Methodist school. And I don't know what is all this prophetic. But 2008, I went to north of India. And God he started using me when I pray for people. Healing happened. So then and after wow. that, 2011, I went to, no, 2010, I went to Malaysia. And, you know, I was praying for the people by faith. I know I have a healing gift. When I pray for sick people, you know, uh, um, I'm going to, they're going to receive healing. And I was praying, nobody is falling down. I enjoy people when I pray falling down. <laughs> <laughs> because you see the power of God. Because I see the because power of powerful. God, you know. I'm yes. not pushing, you know. Right. And then I say, nobody's falling down. What's happened? Where is my healing gift? And all of a sudden, at the end of the service, the lady who introduced to the church is my host. She came, Pastor, Pastor, your prophecy is very accurate. Prophecy? No, I just prayed. Right. Unknowingly, I'm prophesying I, for the people. I'm telling their stories, past, present, and future. And wow. then that morning, I realized there's a prophetic gift inside me. And, you know, why God gives gift? You know, 
to be a blessing for others. Amen. It just like it, it just like you know when there is a tree, we see tons of trees here in the mountains. What is the purpose of the trees? It bears fruit. It gives some uh, habitation for our living. You know something is happening through that tree because it bears fruit. So in the same way, God gives the prophetic and to be use that gift to bless others. Yes. So that um, I was talking to Pastor Ashley. Today's my testimony is tomorrow's somebody's faith. You know Amen. the prophetic gift yes. operate through faith. And through faith, when you speak into somebody's life, when it come to pass, it's glory be to God. Glory to God. <laughs> yes. You know, so, you know, how we can hear the voice of God. You know, it's simple. You know, the Bible says all can prophesy. Yes. You know, yes. All can prophesy. You know, a, a ten-year kids can prophesy. The testimony of Jesus is the is the spirit of prophecy. Yes, it's the spirit of prophecy. You know, man is a spirit. He has a soul. He lives in the body. You know, the the spirit man yes. is connected from earth to heaven and bringing right. Jeremiah chapter thirty-three verse three. You know, so yes. all can prophesy. It's not, uh, you know, uh, uh, only a, a, a man goes to seminary four years. <laughs> And then I've been certificates on the wall. And then I've been <laughs> I've been in the ministry for this this this. Hearing yes. God's voice is very simple. It makes your availability, and then your closet, your personal time with God. You know, it's your quiet time. You know, yes. when you get up out of the bed, and you go to your prayer closet. Yes. And then you connect your soul, your personal time with quietness then automatically you can sense, you can feel, oh, something I can feel. God is, you can listen the audible voice of God. The you audible know, voice of God. Amen. In a new way, you know. Yes. And, and you can feel, I feel that, you know, uh, something I hear, God is speaking to me. Hey, everyone. If you've been blessed by this program, I'd like to invite you to consider becoming a partner of Be Free Ministry. With your help, we can win millions to Jesus and reach over 195 nations of the world. To give, simply download our app, Be Free Ministry International, or go to our website at BeFreeInChristMinistry.org. Together, we can carry the good news of Jesus Christ to the nations. Thank you so much for your gift and God bless you. I believe so many people are truly hearing the prophetic voice of God and they don't even realize it. See, that's what I'm hoping that this program is going to encourage you, you the listeners out there, that they're going to realize I can hear the voice of God. Yeah. I, can, I can truly trust what I'm hearing in my prayer closet when I'm praying. And it's about that relationship with God yeah. through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Yes. We connect with the Father through Jesus. He's the door. He's the gate. He's the way. And His grace has made it possible for us to enter in. And then He has sent the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit, to reveal truth, to confirm the Word, who is Jesus. So yeah. as we're praying, as we're in our prayer closets, as we're making relationship with King Jesus a priority in our lives, then we are going to be able to enter in yeah. to hearing His voice, whether we realize it or not. And I'm praying today that people are going to realize, hey, I think I'm hearing the voice of God. Yes. And what a blessing that that will be for people. Yes. You know, um, I was like uh, reading some of the forefathers, the missionaries who hear the voice of God and uh, also reading about the history of the Asbury where today in Kentucky, the revival going about yes. the founder and how he hear the voice of God. Uh, and then uh, he did, he hear the voice of God. And then after that, he activated the voice of God as a seed planted in the sea, in the soil. You know, whenever we hear the yes. voice of God, it has to connect. Yes. You know, the seed has to connect with the soil. Then it grows. Yes. You know, a lot of times we, we hear the voice of God, we mm. doubt. Wow. You know, we doubt right. uh, with the word of God. 
I don't know, maybe this is from God or uh, my emotions or right. uh, or my yeah. thinking or it's just kind of an energy. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> uh, and that's why faith, the yes. foundation of yes. the prophetic hearing God is faith. That's why the Bible says faith pleases God through faith, yes. you know. And uh, through confirmation. Through confirmation. The, the word of God says that he will, he will confirm his word through two or more. Mm -hmm. The word of God can be one of those two or a, a prophetic word from another minister or, or believer in Jesus yes. could be a, a confirmation. The Lord can give us even prophetic signs, yep. things that are happening around us that, that we just know that was God. Yes. You know, just the phone ringing at just that moment when someone called mm -hmm. or you might see a beautiful, even I believe in, we look into the beautiful creation mm -hmm. uh, that the Lord has created, the skies, and you might feel that the Lord is sending you, you know, there's the, the beautiful hawk that's suddenly, suddenly flying overhead as you're praising the Lord, you know, just however God confirms in your spirit that he is noticing you. Yes. That's what I'm trying to say, that he's noticing you and he's smiling upon you. Those are confirmations. And when he really has something that he's trying to communicate to you, mm -hmm. when Jesus wants you to know something through the Holy Spirit, he is going to confirm it yeah. so that you will know that you know. You first step out in faith to believe on what God said. Yes. And then he confirms it. It's very important that I believe that we don't abort, yes. that we do not decide, no, I don't receive what, what that word that I just heard in my, my spirit or that someone has shared with me. I don't receive it. I don't believe that that is God. That's unbelief and that's doubt. That's the devil's playground. We won't be able to receive what God is trying to say to us unless we have faith. faith. And we want revival. We are always talking about revival and how we need revival. Well, what is happening at Asbury College, it was founded upon a man of God yep. who heard the voice of God and believed in it yes. by faith. And he sowed in the seed into the, into the, the ground um, of faith yeah, uh -huh. and he believed. And that, that's, that's how that wonderful college was created. And now they're having this second wave of revival. Amen. And we're seeing revival popping up in a lot of new places right now, even unexpected places. Mm -hmm. And I believe that it's, it's about wanting what God wants, choosing to say, I'm laying it all down, God, whatever I thought ministry should be, or whatever I thought my life should be, or however I thought you should be, God, I'm saying now, we're just here to worship you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You have your way. You reveal yourself, God. We minister to the Lord yep. when we worship. And interesting, I read an article about this Asbury re revival, and they were stating, noting that it's mostly singing. Yes. It's not a lot of preaching. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's praising. Praising, yeah. And worshiping and singing. And that's exactly what we plan to do at our tent and revival that we're starting on March 3rd. Praise We're God. going to be worshiping. Amen. I'm not bringing in a big, long lineup of ministers to preach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are going to worship and anyone can worship. It's not a performance. Yes. It's not about how good you sing or how well you play the guitar. Jesus doesn't care. Yes. He just wants your worship. Dance before the Lord. We're going to use flags and dance and sing wow. and jump and run and just enjoy him. And be in his presence. Sometime we might end up just on our face on the floor yeah. mm -hmm. because the glory has come down yeah. and it's so heavy that you can't even stand. Yeah. That is revival. Revival is all about what God is doing in our hearts to prepare his bride, the body of Christ, yes. for his return. Yes. And he is coming. Amen. How can we survive in the end times? If we cannot hear the voice of God, Yes. Uh -huh. we've got to be able to hear his voice through his word through the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and all these other ways that we're discussing today. Yeah, um, one of the thing, you know, Pastor Ashley was uh, uh, talking about his tent revival, how it all birthed, you know. Um, you know, she heard the voice of God. She also saw a picture, you know, mm -hmm. uh, prophetic. Yeah. It's not only you hear, when you hear God shows you pictures, like most of the times, uh, you know, rainbows, you know, it's a sign. And I seen as a rainbows as a picture. Wow, God is about to going to 
bought something that's yes. that's going to come to pass. Like two days before, a day before, and I was just praying, and all of a sudden I saw a cottons. Mm. You know, uh, yesterday I, I I was about to uh, come to the airport, and I saw a cotton as a picture. And when I arrived, I saw in Pastor Ashley's studio, cotton. Hallelujah. Are you saying garden? Cottons. Cottons. Cotton. Cotton. Yes. Cotton. Cotton. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, uh, so, and I refer, God speak through dreams and visions and uh, through um, uh, pictures, you know. For example, you hear a voice from God and all of a sudden, you're, you're driving out, you're going to some neighborhood, you're, you're just about to have a conversation and all of a sudden you saw a picture, that's a confirmation what you hear from God. Yes. That's also uh, uh, is a kind of, uh, uh, you know, connecting uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. Wow, God answered my prayer. He hears my voice. He gave me a confirmation and I can see through my eyes what I heard now as a picture. Amen. You know, because prophetic yeah. ministry is not a small box, it's an ocean. Wow, you I know, love that. Uh, 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 it's not a, a, just a yeah. pond, it's a swimming pool, it's an ocean. You know, <laughs> Genesis chapter 1, 1, you know, the earth was in darkness without form. And I can say, you know, uh, that scripture, Jesus, no, God, Yehovah, prophesied, let there be light by faith. Yes. You know, he forecasted. Yes. I can say Spoke prophecy is a forecast. He Amen. forecasted over the weather, the darkness, and all of a sudden, in a blink of an eye, what happened? Light came. Light. Darkness left let the earth. Light. You know, prophecy is something you speak, you know, yeah. Uh, and you hear and you speak. Yes, and at times you might, even, when you're first trying this out, it feel, it can feel a little yeah. a little frightening. Mm -hmm. You might feel nervous. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I say this thing I'm hearing God saying to this person, will they get upset mm -hmm. or will they be, a sh be shocked or will it feel uncomfortable? But that's where faith comes in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We step out in faith and then this is really important key. Holy Spirit will fill your mouth. And I have such a testimony of that. You know, when I first began the ministry and I started holding retreats for women mm -hmm. up here in the mountains, I knew that they were broken women and they needed the love of God. And I, I knew God had asked me to do it. And I wasn't a preacher. I didn't know how to preach the Word of God. Yeah. I wasn't even sure how I was going to minister the Word of God. I just knew that God had asked me to gather these ladies. Yeah. And so we came up here. Well, I had scheduled it all out the weekend, and we had five hours set aside for the Word mm -hmm. to be presented. And I didn't have any notes. I wasn't prepared. And I remember bursting into tears and saying, Oh, Lord, what have I done? I, I can't do this. I don't have the training. I don't have the preparation. Do you know God filled my mouth for five wow. solid hours that weekend? And it was rhema. It was a stream of the Holy Spirit, the power of testimony, the power of the Word of God. I had been soaking in the Word of God for five years and spending time in relationship with the Lord in my prayer closet. Wow. And I had prepared. I had been prepared. I didn't think I was prepared. But those ladies will tell you, and I remember, it was effortless, it was glorious, it was all Holy Spirit, and Jesus was glorified. And that very retreat, we saw miracles, Prakash. Wow. We saw healing happen. Uh -huh. We saw demons coming out of people, people getting delivered, people falling out in the Holy Spirit in, under the anointing and just sleeping on the ground for an hour or two. We wow. had revival because... I opened my mouth. I obeyed the Lord and he was allowed to move. Praise like God. what you're saying, we've got to open our mouths. Mm -hmm. We've got to rebuke fear in the name of Jesus and say, no fear. You're not going to silence me. Yes. The devil never wants you to open your mouth and to speak a word of the Lord. But we're here to encourage you today that you can, by faith, obey the Lord, obey him mm -hmm. and speak the word of the Lord. 
Sometimes the Lord uses us in st with total strangers just to walk up a to a stranger. Yes. Uh, when I was in Africa, I was blessed to go into the parliament house and I didn't feel that I had a word for any of those parliament leaders, but God filled my mouth every time. Praise God. Praise God. It's all for his glory so that people can know that God has spoken to them. And he uses us, his servants, his people, his mm -hmm. body, his, his his beautiful bride yes. to encourage one another. Yes. I think this is also why Paul said, we can pray in tongues, but I, I would rather that you prophesy. Yes. Yeah. I would rather that you would be able to encourage one another, mm -hmm. to edify one another in love, to lift each other up. That's what the prophetic ministry does. And yeah. it's so powerful. And I feel that it would be so wonderful to close out this program today, Prakash, if yes. you would pray yes. for the listeners, if you would just now step into that prophetic office and just minister to those who are listening. Yes, yes. hallelujah. Thank Father, you, we thank you. We come into an agreement. We stir up. Yes, and thank you, Jesus. Let the prophetic activate whoever watching this program right now, God. And I, they've been struggling. They've been struggling. The enemy has put a wall. They could not able to come out of the wall, but today the chain is breaking, the wall is breaking. They're going to hear the voice of God in a new way through their audible voice. Thank you, Jesus. All the walls, the Jericho is breaking down today in a new way. Thank you, Jesus. There is a softness, the purity is coming to hear the voice of God in your household. The Lord is saying, step out with a new faith. I'm hearing you. I'm going to be your counselor. I'm going to be your comforter. I'm going to be your provider. But he is looking your obedience. Do not compare with others. Just look at me. And I'm looking you back as my daughter, as my son. Jesus. And there is a purity is coming right now in your heart. And and the advancement of who you are in Christ is beginning this morning or noon or night, whatever time you're watching. Just believe, activate your faith in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Prophet Prakash. It was so wonderful having yes. you here today. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Find Ashley's music on your favorite listening platform, including Spotify and Apple Music.